ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ತರಸ್ಯಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೌ ತೋಯ ನಿಧಿ ವಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಫಿನಿಷ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಂದಾಕಿನಿ ಸೈಕತೆ ವೇದಿಕಾಯ ಆ ಮಂದಾಕಿನಿ ಸೈಕತೆ ವೇದಿಕಾಭಿ ಸಾ ಕಂದುಕೈ ಕೃತ್ರಿಮ ಪುತ್ರಕೈಶ್ಚ ರೇಮೇ ಮುಹುರ್ ಮಧ್ಯಗತ ಸಖೀನಾ ಕ್ರೀಡಾರಸಾತ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಶತೀವ ಬಾಲ್ಯ ಕ್ರೀಡಾರಸಾತ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಶತಿ ಇವ ಬಾಲ್ಯ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಲ್ಯ ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ಶಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಬಾಲ್ಯ ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಲಾ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ರಸಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಲೀಲಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ and then slowly she moved on to yavana avastha before moving on to that yavana avastha during that childhood that is the ripe time to teach the children a lot of things right so in the same manner par for parvati also that upadesha kalam came in so when you are very small she was playing with the lot of uh, uh, kritrima putra kaihi uh, with the lot of dolls on the banks of ganga and then you know the, the father slowly gets her into uh, uh, study so the next shloka is about her studies tam hamsamala sharadeeva gangam mahaushadhim naktameva aatmabhasaha sthiropadesham upadeshakale prapedire praktana janma vidyaha very beautiful shlokam and something that you can experience it every point in your life or you will see it around you also now any uh, uh, vidya that we acquire has something to do with that vasana that we have so when we are talking about parvati who is sakshat vidya avidya swarupini right vidya vidya swarupini in lalita sasnama also you have that nama and uh, for her if you have to have the gurukula system how would she be so it was like praktana janma vidyaha upadesha kale upadesha kale at the time of giving her that education at the education time uh, uh, when the instruction was being imparted for her sthira upadesham tam parvatim praktana janma vidyaha prapedire praktana praktana prak bhavaha vidyaha yaha ta sarvaha asmin janmani tam prapedire all of those knowledge that she had acquired in her earlier janma automatically came and attained her in this janma and the adjective that he gives for her here is sthira upadesham sthira upadesham for whom instruction is permanent so when we study many things we study today and then we forget tomorrow it is never sthira upadesham for us something that is an, given as an upadesha is it, it, that has to stay in our mind and if it is uh, in tamil we have something called pashumarattani pol you know pashumarattani is like a, a a young tree is there and you nail Uh, uh, you put in a nail in a young tree where the trunk is very soft that nail will grow with the tree and you can never remove that nail from that tree so every learning should be like that they say that is why we impart knowledge when the kids are very young you start off with the learning shlokas at a very young age because those shlokas you will never forget even if you want to you can never remove it from your brain it is like that uh, uh, nail in a tree pashumarattani pola tam hamsamala so here one whose instructions is already permanent for her sthira upadesham tam upadesha kale praktana janma vidyaha prapedire the moment you open a textbook sometimes the shlokas are very familiar for us we may not have read it before but suddenly when you take a book you will uh, it will be like a fish taking to water it will be so natural for us some even if we try really hard we won't be able to get it in our mind that is our samskara the samskara plays even for a for a small jeeva like us 
who are, who has more of uh, you know ashubha vasana in our mind whatever little we have learnt and acquired over the different janmas it automatically comes for us otherwise we would never be in this group right somewhere some vasana is acting and it is coming for us it it just automatically Uh, uh, reaches us at that particular time or it manifests here praktana janma vidyaha prapedire ityukte they are not somewhere else and they are coming and attaching themselves to her mind it's not of that type it is more as udbhuta taya prakashitaha abhavan ityeva it is something that was latent impression in her vasanatmaka taya yaha vidyaha asan te taha adhuna upadesha kale it just became manifested in uttarama charitam the um, jrambaka astram is a way of identifying the people who were uh, uh, in that uh, vamsha so jrambaka astram is an astra a type of mantram that was given as an upadesha by vishwamitra to rama and lakshmana so anybody who is either in that parampara will know it or janmana janma janma siddhani astrani uh, bahubhuti mentions that in his uh, second act he says janma siddhani eva astrani esha so both the lava and kusha were identified because of their expertise in that jrambaka astra which were janma siddham it was not something that uh, someone taught them because vasishta did not know it or valmiki did not know it and they grew up in valmiki sashrama correct and uh, sita did not have the qualification to give them that astra so it was janma siddha and it was something that with which they could identify so here also stiro upadesham praktana janma vidyaha prapedire ityukte udbhutaah abhavan he gives two examples here one is hamsamala yatha hamsamalaah hamsanam malaah yatha gangam sharadi prapedire tatha every year these uh, migratory birds move from one place to another place so during autumn season sharadi fall season gangam yatha hamsamalaah hamsanam shrenayah yatha gangam prati agachanti nobody gives them a route it's not like the aeroplane where they have a lot of uh, uh, gadgets to tell them this is the route that they have to take it is ingrained in them it is in their dna we say so hamsamalaah gangam yatha sharadi prapedire there are so many different streams that are flowing in the northern uh, north india but how do they move from manasarovar to uh, the plains of the ganga during fall season to escape the winter they automatically do it and then they go back this is there in their vasana vasanatmakena so and another thing is the uh, second example is mahaushadhim naktam atmabhasah iv yatha just as how uh, there are uh, um oshadhayah there are different types of medicinal herbs which have they, they are fluorescent uh, herbs that we have seen before right um we saw that they are the uh, deepam in the caves uh, earlier during the description of himalayas also so mahaushadhim यथा आत्मभास नक्त प्रपेदिरे नक्त रात्र ड्यूरींग द नईट टाइम आटोमेटिकली इट्स लाइक अ लाइट हेज बीन स्विच ऑन इट्स लाइक दो सेंसर लाइट्स और यू नो लाइक द सोलार पैनल लाइट्स विच आटोमेटिकली स्विच ऑन वेन द सन सेट्स समथिंग लाइक दैट यू हैव दीज अर्ब्स वेर इट्स ओन fluorescence that uh, luminescent luminescence luminescence of it just comes and gets attached to it tesham prakashah yatha swayameva agachati it is not coming and getting attached there udbhutam bhavati it is present in it it did not go anywhere for it to come back again but udbhutam bhavati it is like the awareness right kanta chami karanyaya in vedanta we say that uh, someone is wearing a necklace and you are not aware of that necklace or the, uh, the spectacles most of the times people take it remove it and put it on their head and they don't realize it but someone comes and points it out see you have your spectacles on your head ha ah, okay i got it you did not lose it for you to get it back again the atma swarupam is like that right it was something that you already have and you just 
you get the awareness of it that's all so this this is something like that mahaushadhim naktam atma bhasaha yatha prapedire prapedire na udbhutataya prakashante eva prakashah purvam eva aasit tatra and it just got manifested there in the same manner sthira upadesham for someone she the, the first time she was created assuming that there was a creation there maya shakti when when that maya swarupam came about she was created as a vidya swarupini there is no uh, uh, there was no guru for her to give her that upadesha puranam has it you know the guru tattva upadesha and all that has it that shiva is the guru and shiva uh, imparts education to uh, devi that is there but still it is something that is already present in her which is manifest so sthira upadesham tam upadesha kale praktana janma vidyaha yatha prapedire tatha because that uh, uh, there was one shloka which i saw in raghuvamsham um the, for that sthira upadesham sri shushrusha shravanam chaiva grahanam dharanam tatha ஊஹாபோ அர்த்த விஜானம் தத்துவ விஜானம் சி குணா தீஸ் ஆர் த டிஃபரெண்ட் குவாலிட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் புத்தி விச் இஸ் பிரசென்ட் ஆல்ரெடி இன் ஹர் வாட் வி த டிஃபரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் பார்வதி அண்ட் எ நார்மல் ஜ ஜீவ எ நார்மல் லிவிங் பீயிங் இஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு கோ த்ரூ தீஸ் சிக்ஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் டு அட்டைன் தட் தி குணம் so we'll have to do shushrusha shushrusha is we'll have to have that uh, um earnest uh, uh, how do i say that longing to listen shrotum ichcha bhavitavya tadanantaram eva dhiyaha gunaha aagachchati shrotum ichcha nechet then we there the, there is no possibility of that uh, uh, knowledge or that information entering our brain itself so the first and foremost attitude that any person should have is shushrusha ஷ்ரோத்தும் இச்சா ததனந்தரம் ஷ்ரவணம் கர்த்தவியம் இச்சா ஏவ அஸ்தி சேத்து யூ நோ ஐ வாண்டட் டு டூ திஸ் தேர் வாஸ் ஒன் पर्सन ஹூ ஆல்வேஸ் வாண்டட் ஐ ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஸ்டடி முக்தாவளி ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஸ்டடி முக்தாவளி परंतु तत्र ஷ்ரவணம் கர்த்தவியம் खलु केवलम ஷ்ரோத்தும் இச்சா அஸ்தி சேத்து न किमपि प्रयोजनम अस्ति कथं भवेत ஷ்ரவணம் भवितव्यम तस्मात् द्वितीयः तत्र धि गुणः ஷ்ரவணம் சோ ஷுஷ்ரூஷ ஷ்ரவணம் तदनंतरम ग्रहणम கேவல ஷ்ரவணம் ந கிமப்பி அவகதம் இது ந வக்தவியம் யூ ஹேவ் டு டேக் இட் இன்சைட் ஆல்சோ தேர் இஸ் எ ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் ஆஸ்மோசிஸ் தேர் ததேவ தத்ர கிரஹணம் ததனந்தரம் தாரணா ஸ்திர உபதேசஹ ஸ்திரம் பவிதவியம் சி ஹி இஸ் பார்வதி ஹஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி கான் டு தி फोर्थ லெவல் தேர் ஷி இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி எ ஸ்திர உபதேச ஏஷா தஸ்யஹ உபதேசஹ ஸ்திரஹ அஸ்தி தத்ர there is no the, the she has skipped a couple of uh, levels here so shushrusha shravanam grahanam tadanantaram dharana so sthira upadesha sa and then the next uh, uh, this thing is uha apoha uha apoha uh, you you will have to use your brain they say no you have the knowledge but you will have to use that knowledge in the appropriate uh, uh, way and try to discern whether this is how we use it or not so uha poha uh, is useful in that uh, uh, sense that it is your uh, viveka gnanam and then artha vijnanam then tattva vijnanam artha vijnanam is just mere uh, meaning knowledge you use all the tools that you have and you understand you have a kosha you have vyakaranam everything else that is with that you use uha poham and you understand the meaning of it that is artha vijnanam tadanantaram ante tattva vijnanam there is no point in just understanding tam hamsamalaha sharadi iva ganga the, the tattvam behind the shlokam is you know there are, there can be so many levels of understanding the shloka one is on a very physical level saying parvati was because she was an avatara of uh, uh, sati who was sati in her earlier janma she all of she was a prodigy that is a very peripheral level that we understand the next level is the shakti level the tattvam behind this is we have to uh, uh, accumulate shubha vasana so that it becomes useful in our next janma when we take 
no that is the tattvam behind it the, the philosophy behind why we study this shloka it's studying kumara sambham is not the be all and end all of it it has to go beyond that artha vijnanam and go into the tattva vijnanam that so many qualities are there for the buddhi huh? shushrusha shravanam chaiva grahanam dharanam tatha uha poho artha vijnanam tattva vijnanam cha dhi gunaha these are the dhi gunas that she already had and uh, these uh, you know the teachers they they only had to you know it's like a kick start that's all in uttarama charitam vitarate guru pragnye yatha budhe tathaiva jade a guru does not create knowledge or he does not do anything he he imparts knowledge in the same manner to a, a pragnya and a jada it is the same knowledge that he gives to all people he did, there is no pakshapataha there right nishpakshapatata he does not have any favoritism there but it is the recipient and their vasana balam and the, it depends on how much of shrushrusha shravanam and grahanam and dharana that they have and it depends on what level they are in for them to uh, accumulate that knowledge and give it off to another person also right tam hamsamala sharadi iva gangam uh, yes sahasra guna madatte um, surya and uh, uh, he him parts sahasra guna he may take uh, like a dilipa who takes only 1/6 from 1% and gives 1000 uh, fold huh? in raghuvamsha okay we'll read the vyakhyanam a little bit because there is see kalidasa will not give two upamanam uh, just like that because he can that is not his way of writing it right so there is a, a specific reason for giving two different upama uh, upamanams here so praktana janma vidya atha devya vidya grahanam vidya grahana prakaram ah praktana janma vidya upadesha kale tam prapedire praktana janma vidya praktane prachine janmani daksha sutatva avasthayam yaha vidya so when she was a, the daughter of daksha tadrsha avasthayam yaha vidya ta sarva api upadesha kale ಆಚಾರ್ಯೈ ಕ್ರಿಯಮಾಣ ಉಪದೇಶಸ್ಯ ಕಾಲ ಸಮಯ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೂ ವರ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಸ ಯೌವನ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತೆ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕಾಲ ಸೊ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಸ ಅಥ ಸಾಧವಯ ಪ್ರಪೇದೆ ಶಿ ಶಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯೌವನ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ಮೀಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಅವಸ್ಥ right shaishavam kaumaram and then yavvanam so shaishavam goes in playful attitude the next shloka is the this uh, uh, vidyagrahana kalam is kaumaram so aacharya purva kalah yavvana utpattehe purva kalah yadah munihi prak yavvanat yuvatihi yavvanat prag yuvatihi hmm prag yavvanat yuvatihi when when she is a yavvanam yavvanavastha yaha purvam vidyagrahanam bhavet tadanantaram yuvatihi iti that's how you'll have to take hmm. vidyam grahayitavya iti sheshah ah, that has to be attached to it okay so y prak yavvanat yuvatihi eka vidyam grahayitavya she has to be made to acquire that knowledge aacharya upadesha matram nimitti kritya devim pratipedire it was just a nimittam nimitta matram you know in the in gita when he says nimitta matram bhavasavya saachi i have already killed everybody pralayam is over all you have to do is you are just the causal factor here nimittam ತತ್ರ ಹೇತು ಮಾಹ ಸ್ಥಿರ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸ್ಥಿರ ವಾಸನಾರೂಪೇಣ ಪೂರ್ವಮೇವ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ಪೂರ್ವಜನ್ಮ ಕೃತ ತಸ್ಯಾಂ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೀನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ವಾಸನಾರೂಪೇಣ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮರೂಪೇಣ ಲಿಂಗ ಶರೀರೆ ವರ್ತತೆ ತದನಂತರ ಜನ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಅನೇನ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವಿಕ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿನಯ ಉಕ್ತ ಉಪದೇಶ ಕಾಲೆ 
Dvividaha Vidya Vinayaha. Now there are two types of Vidya Vinayaha. The word Vinaya does not mean humility. It means a discipline. Visheshena Niyate Iti. Shastra Abhyasena Visheshena Niyate Iti Vinayaha. So one who is being directed towards the proper or guided towards the proper path, one who follows the proper path based on Shastras, that is called Vinayaha. So Vidya Vinayaha, we say humility, Vidya Dadati Vinayam, Vinaya Dhyati Patrata. No, Vidya Dadati Vinayam, that Vinaya is not translated as humility. Vidya gives a discipline, a mental discipline that uh, uh, is got through vidya can be of two types. One is kritakaha, another is swabhavikaha. So there is a mental discipline that is very innate in people. There is an intrinsic discipline that is there in people. Or another discipline that can be taught. In Tamil we say, Tana Tiriano, Ilana, Soli Gurthala, the Tiriano of Ribo. You know, you should at least acquire something on your own, or you should understand it through someone else's uh, teaching. So, those are the two things Kritakaha, Swabha Vikahacha. Atra Kritake Vidya Vinaye Prathamam Upamanam Darshayati. Kritake Kritakam is uh, uh, the um, what is that? artificial you know that which is extrinsic a discipline that has been influenced by external factors and that kritaka is the, the example he gives for that is samsamalaha sharadi gangam yatha pratedire so it is an extrinsic factor this is the, the uh, uh, hamsa moving to ganga is not something which is um, let's say it is intrinsic to the ganga uh, uh, hamsa Whereas this uh, Atma Bhasaha uh, is intrinsic to the Aushadhi, uh, 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 to the herbs, right? So he gives, that is why we have these two Upama. So Hamsamalaha Sharadi Gangam Iva Iti, Hamsamalaha Hamsapanktayaha Sharadi Sharatkale Yatha Gangam Prapnuvanti Tatha, Hamsanam Varshasu Manase Stitihi, during the rainy season, they stay in the Manasarovar. And then Punahacha, Sharad Arambhe, when the autumn season begins, Swa Abhimati Shu, Bhagirati Pradeshu, Pradeshadishu, Prasiddhi. So they come to the banks of the river. And then Swabhavike Vidya Vinaye, Atma Basaha, Naktam Mahoshadhibhi. So here the Hamsa, uh, the swans uh, do not exist in Ganga always. Whereas in the herbs, in those Mahaushadi medicinal herbs, the Prakasha Swarupam, that Prakashaha, the Kanti that is present, it is always present in the Oshadi. That is why it is Swabhavika Vinaya. So Swabhavike Vidya Vinaya Api Upamanam Aha Atma Bhasaha Naktam Mahaushadim Iva Atma Bhasaha Divaseshu Surya Prabha Abhibhutaha we are not able to see that kanti because of the extra because of the surya's uh, rays the sun's rays are uh, um, uh, preventing us from uh, seeing it maybe our eyes are too conditioned by the sun's rays if our eyes were not like that we would be able to view it even during daylight right so naktam ratrau ratrau mm, Ratri Vachakam Abhyayam. Okay, that's fine. So, Mahaushadim Ratra Ujwalam Vriksha Vishesham Iva Yatha Surya Prabha Abhibhutaha Nijaha Eva Prabha Surya Prabha Tirobhave When they have been, uh, 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 how do I say, covered by the sun's rays, Mahaushadim Prapnuvanti Tatha Balyat Balyat Aprakashamana Vasana Rupena Vasana Rupena Purvamapi Vidyamana Vidyaha Tam Prapedire Ityataha. But I'm just wondering how the uh, the first would fit Devi Parvati. Right? Huh. Um, some of the uh, Upadesha which she did not know came to her later how can that fit her no i don't know yeah tam hamsa mala sharadiva gangam 
ಮಹೌಷಧಿಂ ನಕ್ತಮಿವಾತ್ಮಭಾಸ ಸ್ಥಿರೋಪದೇಶಾಂ ಉಪದೇಶಕಾಲೆ ಪ್ರಪೇದಿರೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ತನ ಜನ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಶಿವಪುರಾಣ ಇಟ್ ಹಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶಿವಪುರಾಣ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟು ಉಪಮಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಗಂಗಾಂ ಯಥ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ on page 17 you will find that shloka uh, gangam yatha hamsa kaga sharatsu hamsa gana sharatsu it's a different reading hamsa gana sharatsu vai ratro swabhasaha tu yatha mahaushadhihi guru padesha upadesha panditam upadesha panditam tam purva samskara gana yayur muda uh, kalidasa uses thiropadesha whereas uh, in shiva purana the word he uses is uh, um, uh, upadesha pandita very similar kalidasa does not leave that word out he takes that and uses it in malavika agnamitram where he says pratyupadeshati eva me bala upadesha pandita she herself parvati herself is a pandita of upadesham she is capable of imparting knowledge to others so she is uh, uh, capable of that and kalidasa does he he understands that it is a very beautiful expression i think so that's why he has taken it and uses it in malavika agnamitram where the queen wants to know how malavika is doing and she is learning dance from the natyacharya so natyacharya praises his student and he says pratyupadeshati eva me bala it is as if that student is actually prati upadishati she is in turn teaching me by doing the abhinaya so beautifully upadesha panditam guru upadesha upadesha panditam tam purva samskara gana yayur muda the samskara uh, uh, everything that was in a vasanatmakam became udbhutam right um, okay i think we'll stop with this if you don't mind